Hey, welcome back to Daily Hope. We're in really the heat of the Christmas story where these wise men, they've interacted with Herod and others. They've made their way following this star to Bethlehem. And it's a well-known verse. It's in every Christmas pageant or Sunday school play for uh, Christian kids. Verse 11, they entered the house and saw the child with his mother, Mary, and they bowed down and worshiped him. Then they opened their treasure chests and gave him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Now, there's so much in here, right? They didn't just adore him, they worshiped him. They had read at this point the prophecies from the Old Testament, Messiah is God. Then when they get to God, they open their treasure chests. This is their funds, commodities, that they're gonna use to pay for their trip to get back home. So you don't wanna give away your most valuable things. You're gonna need that, but they do. They give God what is best. And there's a word for us there. As we each think about year-end giving and open our treasure chests to invest in the kingdom of God, to give to Jesus as an act of worship so he can continue his work. And then there's symbolism in these gifts. I'll read from the Life Application Study Bible here. Gold was a gift for royalty, for kings. Frankincense was a gift for deity, for gods. Jesus is King of kings and Lord of lords. He's the one true God. And perhaps most symbolic and significant, myrrh was a spice used to anoint a body for burial. So while these gifts had really immense financial resource, and it's what's going to provide for Mary and Joseph as they journey to Egypt soon to escape Herod, God's going to utilize these commodities and these assets to protect the life of the Messiah. But at the same time, these gifts were incredibly symbolic that here comes the King of kings and Lord of lords, the one true God, who will die, be buried in a rich man's tomb, whose body will be anointed with myrrh some 33 years from this moment, and then he will rise again on the third day, changing all of human history, changing me and you, and our relationship with God. Beautiful story. See you tomorrow for more Daily Hope.